Is that your bench? <laughs> One of my things I really, really wanted to do, so I'm excited we got to see them in the wild. Yeah. And the Galapagos is not hard to check off all the animals you want to see. No, no, it's not, because it's pretty small and there are a ton of them everywhere. So now we're not in a breeding center. These are just tortoises that are loving a mud puddle. So here we are at the lava cave and it's cool because the taxi dropped us off here. He's gonna pick us up at the other end and there'll be one skinny part we get to stretch through, babe. Stoked, I love going through caves. Usually the coolest part of the cave, one of the coolest parts is the entrance. I love cave entries. So it looks like here we're down kind of in this little canyon. Whoa. <laughs> so this canyon is, is just like where the lava tunnel ends here, I guess. Oh wait, is there something over here? Oh, Emily, it continues this way. Good thing I brought a flashlight. I brought these flashlights, charged them up in the van, and then they said, hey, this whole cave is lit up. You don't need them. But we're going off road now on the other side and checking it out. Let's see what's up here. Doesn't say not to. Oh, this is my kind of caving, you know? A big lit up cave is uh, definitely not as cool as exploring the unknown abyss. Okay, so here's the bottom. And it looks like it's flat from here. I don't know how big this part is, but it is tall. Yeah, I don't think they expect most tourists to have flashlights. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, what I read was that it goes back like a kilometer. The other one just said 400 meters. There's an optional unmarked side cave. And Emily noted this is really getting pretty muddy here. And if you're unfamiliar with what a lava tube is, this was basically a bunch of magma underground coming out here far, far away from the volcano. Okay, it looks like we found the end here. What do you think, Emily? Can we make it? Nope. <laughs> pretty cool though. Look at that cave entrance up there. So now let's go in the official cave, huh? <laughs> what a cool entrance. So not only have they lit this up, they have leveled the ground and put gravel, no mud. And to come here, it was only $5 a person. Emily was most excited for the turtle walk. I was most excited for the cave. I really love caves. So there you have it. The Galapagos has something for everyone. This is the fun part of the cave. Can I see your sea lion impression? <laughs> Nothing to it, huh? That's my nice exit. So our cab driver should be waiting on this end. And so you know the price of the cab up to here is 20. He said he'd wait here for no extra charge, take us back for another 20. And he offered for five more bucks to take us to two craters up here they call the twins, Los Gemelos. Come out right into the greenery. Hey, he's here. It's a pretty quick walk. This walk, I guess, we walk along the crater and then we cross the road, we go along the other crater and it puts us out like right where we started. So it's a nice little circle and for five extra bucks, you know? Yeah, it's awesome to see another part of the island. Grab my hand! Ah! <laughs> Thanks. It's insane on the Galapagos that basically everything is a volcano, you know, every hill. And there's two ways you can get a crater like this. It can be because it exploded such explosive force or after all the lava came out, collapses because there's a, a hollow underneath where the crater was. Pretty sweet day trip from Puerto Ayora, the main town on the island with the main airport. Right. And uh, this is just a cheap thing you can do on your own. You know, you don't have to spend so much a day on these boats. Ready for crater number two? Even bigger. This is crazy. This is enormous. And from reading there, it turned out this was not from the explosive force. This was one of those calderas more where 
after the magma all escaped, the hollow area collapsed in. So after doing some research, I learned that the transit to the four inhabited islands is always through Santa Cruz. All of these water taxis or ferries, they're called here. And they're not really ferries, they're just kind of small speed boats from anywhere from 25 to 30. If you get seasick, it's probably best to take the ferries in the morning. In addition to, you know, those water taxis or ferries or speed boats, there is the option of taking an airplane. I think it was at like 150 a person. It's pretty pricey. That was a snake. <laughs> He's gone now. It would have been best if we flew into Santa Cruz and flew out of San Cristobal. National Geographic at the dock. This is insane. Getting the water taxi from Santa Cruz to San Cristobal turns out to be super easy. Head to the dock at 2 p.m., pay $25 to the taxi company, and hop on the boat at 3 p.m. for two hours over to a whole new island where there are even more animals. After checking out a couple of hostels, we decided on the first one we saw, which ended up being $40 a night for a nice clean room with air conditioning. To celebrate our first night off the cruise, we got some drinks and planned out next days around this beautiful island. <laughs> Just a sea lion looking for love. Good morning. Another day in absolute paradise. We woke up here on the island and honestly, my legs and my brain, I think, still thinks that we're on a boat. I have drunk legs. <laughs> it's pretty funny actually. But luckily I haven't felt sick, so that's nice. This morning, we're going to get together some of our equipment for scuba diving. Ooh, I'm so excited to scuba. Going to have some breakfast out here. Nice uh, turn of events was that the scuba company let us have a wetsuit for today. We're gonna do a bit of a hike here for free. No guide needed, should be some beautiful beaches, some nice snorkeling. We got our own snorkel masks that we brought from the van and those wetsuits, so. Gonna be a real easy day with no moving transport. Recalibrate my brain. <laughs> One of my missions on this trip is to go to Floriana to see Post Office Bay, where a bunch of sailors used to leave posts so that someone else can bring it to their home country for them to let their family know that they're okay. None of this post had stamps on it. Someone just from the good of their own heart would hand the family this letter to make sure that the sailors finally knew that they had made it to the Galapagos and they were fine. Floriana is super hard to get to, first of all, so we couldn't really make the trip there. And this is the actual barrel for the post office bay, which I was, oh, I found it on Atlas Obscura. They still have another barrel for post office bay where you can put in a letter and someone will hand deliver it to your family for you. We won't be able to do that part, but I'm so glad we got to see the barrel. Yeah, that's so funny that it just happens to be here. Yeah. <laughs> we got to see it, babe. I know, I'm really happy. Yeah. <laughs> so that little interpretive center kind of starts the hike here of Tijeretas is the name. And yeah, you can just walk here right from the town. You can see here, this is such a volcanic dry island. Wow, it's supposed to be the rainy season where the rains are supposed to be starting, but they've came late okay, apparently this year. You know, most places we go, the seasons have been a bit messed up due to the climate change. But honestly, it's pretty good for us because during rainy season, the visibility of the water isn't as good. But this would all be nice and green. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Up here, there should be an epic view, good snorkel spot, and just a gem of a hike. So here's the first lookout. 
there's the top. And that'll be where we're snorkeling down there. Nine? Yeah, at least eight. We finally got to see the marine iguana swimming. Yes! But I think the highlight was definitely at the turtles. Just an amazing bay full of life. <laughs> We're catching a taxi over to another free snorkel right spot in San Cristobal, La Lobaria. Major update that we're on Patreon and we'd like to reward our first patrons by sending personalized postcards for anyone who pledges until April 3rd. We're thankful for our community and really appreciate your support, whether monetary or just telling how you feel in the comments. Beers we kept here in the hostel fridge. Our hostel doesn't really have like a developed deck up top, but it's kind of nice up here. This side is very work in progress. Okay, this is what a roof looks like for the night at a $40 place. And over there with these beautiful gardens is what it looks like for $36 for breakfast.
Another night checking these dudes out, huh? Yeah, they're so cute. The babies and the mamas. Oh, stinkies. We're gonna go find some hammerheads. Bring your paddy cards, you know, we're certified divers. Sunscreen bug spray. And this waterproof bag with some water. This is what you've really been waiting for the whole trip. Big thing I picked I really wanted to do. It's called Kick a Rock or Leon Domido. It's gonna it's like a big rock in the in the ocean. You can see it from land, so it's not that far, but yeah, there's supposed to be a ton of animals out there, including the sharks that I really want to see. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to live In the moment I hung desperately The other ring on my wrist is gold Pairing with the light of gold When I return from my skin and bone I'm remembering the words you told me It's so annoying to find all these drunk people asleep in the gutter out here. You're drunk, go home, sea lion. Had a great night out with all the scuba peeps and this guy we met who's a professional filmer at the other beach. Pretty amazing stories that we've heard tonight. Just uh, always one of the highlights of traveling is just meeting other travelers and going out for a drink. So as long as we can make it past all these belligerent sea lions home. <laughs> <laughs> they just sit here right on the gangway. Such a ridiculous thing. This is a marine iguana chilling with sea lions and crabs. Oh, unfortunately, this is our last stop on San Cristobal Island. 
We're gonna do one more independent tour with a taxi. It ended up being $50 no matter how many people are in the car. So we are gonna head up with our new friends from the hostel. We're gonna bring you guys over to a crater lake, then to another tortoise breeding center. One more nice beach on this beautiful island and then heading back to the port to catch our boat back to Santa Cruz. San Cristobal turned out to be an amazing place to hang out with sea lions, see a lot of animals, and enjoy our time here in the Galapagos. Back here in Puerto Ayora, we found an area with a few hostels and checked them all out. Actually got a cheaper price in a hotel here, $40 for the night. We'll just have tonight and head to the airport tomorrow. It's been really great here in the Galapagos. You can do it for cheap, you can do it on a luxury boat. So you're gonna see some animals here. This is an amazing place. I've always wanted to come here ever since I was a kid. Thanks so much for coming to the Galapagos with us. Please subscribe, like, and if you want to join our family, check out our new Patreon.